Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Nikki and I thought we would talk about top 10 awesome things to do in Illinois. So this is all going to be local things to me, but I thought maybe if you lived around or in Illinois that this video would be for you. So if you're interested in learning about some fun things to do in Illinois, then keep on watching. So let's dive in. Number one on my top 10 list of things to do is Bison's Bluff. And this is in Schaumburg, Illinois. Now, if you've never been to Bison's Bluff, it's a really cool playground. I will insert a picture up here for you. Um, it has climbing things. It has a little creek that you can walk through. Um, and then it has paths where you can set out on a pathway and just kind of explore um, the scenery and stuff like that. It's a really cute place. So I highly recommend checking out Bison's Bluff in Schaumburg. Um, number two on my list is Brookfield Zoo. If you have not gone to Brookfield Zoo, then I highly recommend doing that as well. It's just something that there's just so much education there that kids can learn. Even I learn, um, but it's fun to be able to point and say, oh, this is their habitat. This is you know, the polar bears do this and the bears do this and the penguins do this, you know, and just be able to kind of show it and not just kind of say it. And then it kind of puts that picture in their heads. So really cool place. They have tons of things to do there, um, tons of activities and hands-on things as well. They have a petting zoo, um, a carousel. They have a dolphin show like we love the zoo now there is also lincoln park zoo in chicago as well and we do love that one as well but brookfield is just a little bit closer for us and we have passes there so that's just a fun thing for us to do at the zoo um number three is go on a nature walk we have so much nature all around us in illinois and we have forest preserve upon forest preserve upon forest preserve and just get out and go for a walk go for a run take your bikes take rollerblades take roller skates just get out and really enjoy nature now we recently went to a place called fabian's forest preserve and i will link some pictures up here um insert some pictures up here <laughs> of the awesome windmill that was on the property and it had this it was like an island where you could walk across a bridge and they had japanese garden and it was so beautiful so beautiful and they had bike trails they had walking trails it was so much fun and it was really hot so we did not stay too long this time but i do plan on going back and that is in geneva illinois again i'll try to link as much as i can below so number four on my list is Waterfall Glen. If you have not been to Waterfall Glen, I will insert a picture up here. It is stunning. It is a beautiful place, very fun. You can literally get in the water. You can climb the waterfall. It's not that high, you know, it's maybe like 10 feet tall. Um, it was just a really fun activity. And if you go first thing in the morning, it's not that crowded and it's great. There's walking trails. There's all different kinds of things to do and it's so much fun and you're in nature. <laughs> people had nets, they were trying to catch um, some frogs and stuff like that and a couple of people did. So lots of things that you can see and it was just a really fun thing to do and that was in Lamont, Illinois. Um, yeah, so Waterfall Glen, big hit in this house. Um, number five, Castle Park in Vernon Hills. This looks like a castle. I will insert a picture here. The property is really cool though. It has three parks on the property and it, they're all in walking distance. You walk through um, some trails that are really scenic. Um, there are some benches where you can sit. There's like trellises that you can walk through. It's a really cool place and I highly recommend it. The park is very modern. It has um, like the zip line type things um, where you can slide from one side to the other. Um, my daughter really loved it and we had a really good time, pack a lunch, perfect picnic, um, and you can go to three different parks. So highly recommend. Number six is, um, Illinois State 
beach. We just visited this beach several times already this year and I'll insert a picture. It's stunning. The views are great. Um, it is a beach. It is a little bit rocky, but it's just an overall amazing beach. It's literally right next to the parking lot so you can park and just walk and you can see your car you don't have to walk through all these crazy trails if you have a hard time walking through sand or anything like that or if you want to bring your grandma or someone who can enjoy the experience with you without having to walk very far to be at the beach it's great highly recommend illinois state beach is in zion illinois um and I'll insert some pictures or a video of when we were just last there. So number seven, the dunes. If you've never been to the dunes, this is not in Illinois by no means, but I had to add it in because this is a Indiana dunes. There's also, I believe, Michigan dunes as well, but um, it was so fun. It was great activity, like she was able to run up the sand dunes and run down and there's like a little path on top and it was a really cool thing to do we did that back in the spring um, and I highly recommend visiting the dunes and again that was in Indiana but there are several other dunes that you can visit so next up is number eight and that is Pirates Cove and this is in Elk Grove if you've never been to Pirates Cove it's like a very 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 mini version of like a six flags and i'm talking mini like the park is not big it maybe has about 10 rides um but they're all geared towards little kids i'll insert a clip of one of our favorite rides from pirates cove it's a um a ride that you get into the water and it's like little paddle boats and it's the cutest thing she absolutely loved doing that um the staff is really nice it's fairly inexpensive to get in there and I like that it's all geared towards little kids, whereas if you go to Six Flags, you're paying this really big hefty price to get, you know, big roller coasters and stuff like that. Whereas your five-year-old either isn't tall enough or um, won't necessarily want to go on those things. So this is geared for just very little, little kids. Um, super fun, fairly inexpensive Elk Grove, Pirate's Cove. Go check it out. Next up on the list, we have number nine, which is Cosley Zoo. Now, I want to say this is in Wheaton. I will clarify um, the location, but it's in the western suburbs, and it is great. It's this little cozy little zoo. It has maybe, oh, I don't know, a couple handfuls of animals, and it's just kind of cozy. You, you feel like you're the only ones there, and it has this train car that you can walk through there's all different really cool little things and it has a little cafe and it's just a nice atmosphere now due to covid i don't know if you have to make a reservation or anything like that but i highly recommend um looking up cosley zoo if you have some littles that would be interested in seeing some animals number 10 i do want to add six flags in there i know i just talked about it being a hefty price tag and that not every little kid is going to appreciate six flags but we do i have a child who absolutely strives to be an adrenaline junkie she loves the roller coasters she loves the big ones she loves riding with us she's been on the wizard she's been on um um, they have the little dipper there that used to be at um, Kitty Land, which is no longer um, there anymore. But um, there's so many different things. She, we even got her to go on the log ride, which is that big water ride that takes you up and has that big um, drop. Uh, she loved it. She is just my little adrenaline junkie. She is absolutely for the roller coaster. So for us, it was definitely worth it. Off season, not so much because they have like one worker who pretty much switches from ride to ride in the kids section. And that's rough. Now, I do not know how they are doing it with COVID if you have to make a reservation or anything. We have not been this year. But normal times, it was just a great experience for us. And they have bring your friend day for free so we were able to bring our friends for free many times and that was super fun as well so that concludes today's video i listed you 10 awesome things to do in the state of illinois and indiana um but i highly recommend you look them up if you haven't been because these are so fun to do 
Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and hit that notification bell, which is going to alert you of all my future videos. They are posted on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 a.m. Central Time. So yeah, I hope you guys have a really great rest of your day and I hope that you liked my top 10 favorites.